from day one, as long as we've been a part of this wonderful community, our, we've really leaned into partnership opportunities with the district. And about a year ago, along came this crazy idea called the Dream Stream, which I'm standing in at the moment. And through a series of conversations, we start, started to realize like this may be an opportunity for us as a community partner, not as a representative of the school district, but as a community partner to just lean in to be a part of something really special. And so in December of uh, 2022, uh, our church collectively came forward to give a significant amount of money towards making the Dream Stream a reality. I'm standing here in front of the Dream Stream and as we created the Dream Stream, we were really looking to create something that would serve the students, not that the students would serve. It was important to us that we created a mobile classroom where students could learn real workplace skills and get practice in doing that. Another way we intend to use the Dream Stream is to connect with the community. We want to make sure that the community is aware of our transition from school to work program and what students are doing in that program. The Dream Stream will be used as that mobile snack bar classroom where students are selling different items from it and practicing how to uh, incorporate all those skills. The Dream Stream is a project that we in CTE are very excited about. Our FBLA and business programs at Cienega High School will be supporting the Dream Stream in terms of the marketing, business skills, professional skills, and interning, managing, and any other way that we can. It's a great opportunity for some peer-to-peer -peer collaboration between our CTE students and our TSW students. As students are working on the Dream Stream, some of the skills that we hope that they are learning are just their ability to interact with other people in the public. We're gonna be selling things, so money skills, and being able to fill an order, follow directions, all of the skills that they'll need in order to get a job after high school. I hope that with the collaboration with the Dream Stream, our CTE students will gain an awareness of our inclusive community living within our schools as well as within our community. But I also hope they're able to broaden out those skills and learn about how to keep inventory in a, in a real operating uh, food truck. I also hope that our students are able to learn those professional skills of working outside of our schools and interacting with the community, learning how to do some customer service, as well as learn on the fly a little bit when things don't always work out the way that they want to. These skills should be able to support our students as they also enter our community and into the workforce. One of my favorite things about the Vail School District, and it's exhibited in this project, is the ability for lots of groups to come together for the good of our community. For the Dream Steam project, we had Career and Technical Education, our Special Education Department, TSW, as well as one of our strongest community members, the LBC Church. All of these groups came together and formed a beautiful vision which is now a reality in the Dream Stream. Coming into Vail as kind of the newbie, one of the things we kept hearing over and over again is that uh, Vail is where education is a community effort. And being a part of the community, we knew that we somehow, even though it was unclear to us when we first came, but we somehow played a part in that. And so for me, the Dream Stream is a picture of that, um, where the community comes together to make education possible. And in this particular case, serving a demographic of students in our community who are gonna see a huge impact in their personal lives as we equip them with vocational skills to, to have a future beyond high school. And so for us as a church, it's just been so cool to really have a front row view to see what, what that motto means.